Today we're going to talk to you about halter breaking calves and as you can see behind me we've got a group of freshly weaned heifers that we're going to start to work with and one of the things that we do is initially we start bringing them into pens even while they're on the cows and getting them gentled down. It's a long dragged out process. We want to take our time with these Brahmin heifers. Brahmin cattle are one of the most intelligent breeds of cattle ever to be created. They have really good memories. So if they have a bad experience as a baby calf, they will remember that for the rest of their days. So it's important to be patient. It's important to take your time as you're starting to halt a break and really do your homework with that particular animal. So one of the things that you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating a bond with that Brahmin heifer or bull calf as you start to halt a break. It's important to be patient, like I said, and really take your time. Bring those cattle into a small area uh, that you could start to put your hands on them. And at first they might be a little flighty and they might go and not let you do much. But also, because Brahmin cattle are so intelligent, these calves are going to be really curious. If you've got a herd of cows out in the pasture, a lot of times that calf will just come up to you in a buggy or a tractor uh, and smell because they're trying to figure out what's going on. Once you actually are able to put your hands in these cattle in the pen with a show stick or a brush or anything for that matter, uh, you're already starting to develop that bond. Really what we're trying to do is create a trust bond, essentially, that that calf knows that you're not trying to hurt it. And that's the first step to halter breaking. Truthfully, once that's done, you can then proceed on to putting a halter on. We like to put these halters on these calves and then make sure that they have a day of just hanging out with the halter in their pens and they eat and drink water with that halter. We use a chain halter to do this that you can clamp on a lead and take it off. A lot of people turn these cattle out with the halters and the leads. We recommend that you do not turn them out with the leads. The reason for that is you start creating some burns behind the ears and underneath because that calf is continually stopping and pushing on that lead. So uh, don't, don't turn them out with the lead. You can also get those leads caught and you can come back the next day to a dead calf. They could break their necks, they could get stuck overnight. Many things can happen if you turn them out with a lead. So don't turn them out with the lead if you can help it. Um, if you've done a good job at the very first step of halter breaking, which is creating that trust bond, it won't be anything to put a show stick on them and they'll stay just put waiting to be scratched and you just clamp on the lead the next morning. And that of course will get better every day that you do it uh, progressively. Get better to the point that you can walk out to any pen, even big pens like this, put a show stick on them and just you know put a regular rope halter on that calf and they'll, they'll walk off. So those are some of the key fundamental things that you should be doing at the beginning of the halter breaking process. We'd love to visit with you about your cattle. If you have any questions about the Moreno Ranches programs, the junior programs, our scholarship programs, our breed bag programs, please don't hesitate to let us know. We'd love to help you out wherever we can. Thank you.